I was quite blessed because I had an opportunity to work with the curandera in the field of mental health. I started this path, I, I think it started a lot like from birth. I f first got involved in traditional medicine uh, after finishing the university. My name is Lorraine Cordova and I'm very happy to be a part of this documentary because I think it's so important to talk about how medicine is delivered today. Uh, or how, you know, how it's changing and we have opened the door somewhat to, to a different way of looking how health care is delivered. Uh, this, this place here, Casa de Salud, was a dream for me back in the 90s when I was um, completing my nurse practitioner studies. In fact, I used to do a lot of role playing about curanderas and doctors working together in, in, my, um, in my studies. This is social justice medicine, okay? It's, it's um, giving people health care that is needed by not um, putting them in a spot to make them feel like they have to um, give us a lot of information about who they are. It's just about giving health care in a socially just, justifiable way. So um, I could be working anywhere else and making triple the money that I make here. We don't make a lot of money here, but we all believe in, in providing uh, good health care here. For me, I, I really like to describe curanderismo as not just like a modality. For me, it's a lifestyle. It's something that we all have responsibility of living and doing. When somebody takes the responsibility, it's so easy here to say, I'm not happy, like if you think of our youth, I'm not happy because my mom pissed me off, or I'm not happy because so-and-so did this, or someone didn't tell me hi. It's like, you know what, happiness is a choice. These are decisions that we have to make. It isn't about everybody else being responsible for my happiness, that's me. And so once I own it, and the same goes for our health. When I own my health, it's not a doctor, it's not a healer. It's like, I have to make better choices to take care of myself.